welcome to my channel i hope you guys are doing good all right so today i'm gonna be showing you how i roast my chicken whole in the oven you can either roast it like this or you could you know split it open and make it flat and i'm gonna try and see if i can split it open in order to do that you will have to locate the backbone which is like right here and then slit cut in the middle okay so for this these are the numerous ingredients spices i'm gonna be needing i'm gonna use chicken stock salt some ground black pepper some paprika garlic parsley curry ginger and thyme I have hot pepper definitely and some olive oil just a little you could skip the olive oil but i just want to give it that beautiful shine when it comes down comes out um golden looking and also i'm just going to be placing this fresh rosemary just right on top or inside depends we'll see how it goes so these are the ingredients i always use to make my whole chicken still in the month of april still celebrating my husband i keep making all these recipes so he can have a lot of fun so guys let's go ahead and make this whole chicken you see this tail butt or something i like to cut it off this scissors is not so sharp but thank god it came off you can roast this chicken either with the wings on or without it off sometimes i like to take it off because it tends to burn easily so anyways like i said i want to locate the middle this scissors is not so sharp but let's see if we could do do this yeah it's gonna take a while you need a very sharp scissors but at least it's cutting it a very sharp one will just slit it open like right away i want to take up the wing and take up the other side too you can leave it if you want it's just a preference so now it's open the way I want. I'm just going to wash it one more time with uh, vinegar. You could use lemon juice, but I want to use vinegar. I washed it already before. I just want to wash it since I cut it open like this. Let me just run vinegar through it real quick. So we pour some white vinegar. Just, I'm just going to let it sit for just a minute and then that's it. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut off just a little bit of the excess fat. You can leave it if you want. I just want to trim it down a little. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Look at that beautiful shape, guys. Ooh. I could cross its leg. Hey, hey, look at that. In this way, nice shape. I used to call my babies talking like when they were little and big. So, anyways, it's time to season. So, I'm going to go ahead and put all my seasoning together and then we'll start coating the chicken. So, every spice I'm using, I'm basically adding a tablespoon of each, a whole tablespoon of each. If you don't, um, if you don't eat salt, you could use salt or turn it. That's adobo has salt or turn it. And now uh, the black pepper, everything a tablespoon. For the pepper, you can skip it or you can use it. I like it spicy. So now I'm gonna give it a quick mix to mix everything up together. So now I mixed it all up. I'm gonna add, um, let's see, like two tablespoons of the olive oil. Olive oil, you could use coconut oil, but olive oil can stand heat uh, no matter how high it is. So I give it a mix. I added it so that the spices can stick on the skin of the chicken. If not, it's gonna be falling off, but I really, I hope you guys can see it. I think I'm gonna add more. Okay. Let me add one more spoon. So basically we're using three things. Alright, this should be good. Yeah, that's fine. So guys, I decided to add a little bit of suya spice. You can skip it. 
if you don't want it but you know it takes it to a whole new level so i'm just gonna throw in one tablespoon of it that's gonna give it the nice flavor of the moment let me use my hand and make this fast so i'm gonna be baking this in my dutch oven it gives it a very nice flavor it helps it retain the heat therefore it helps it cook all through you can put in your baking pan but try the dutch oven if you have one before so let me flip this over and start cutting the chicken be generous with your spice you need it to go all in because it's not like we're marinating it so it's going straight into the oven so be generous with it all right make sure you touch all the ties cross your feet one more time bam that's it so now we're gonna flip over to the other side hey do not scatter on me now rub it all over the skin you can open the skin a little bit let it go inside you want this to be very flavorful get in the skin as much as you can this glove is so big and it's falling off my hands put every nook and cranny you want everything inside you see without the olive oil i will make more than the mess i'm making right now Okay, so now it's ready. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use butter. You can use olive oil. You can even put it like that. But butter gives it a very nice taste. And all I'm going to do is go around the Dutch pan. This is all salted anyway. So now I'm going to transfer the chicken carefully. You see that? I don't know if you can see. Alright. This is it. So now it's going to go into my preheated oven. My oven has been preheating. I'm crossing the leg so I make sure it fits. Make sure you, if you're using a Dutch pan, you're going to have to buy a smaller size of chicken so it can fit. Or maybe if you have a, a bigger Dutch pan. So right now I'm going to cover it with the foil and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for like one hour 30 minutes I'm gonna put it on 350 degrees oven so it's gonna slowly cook and guys it's already smelling so good so see you in one and a half hour all right guys it's out of the oven Woo! yeah it looks so nice guys super duper nice well done mm -mm -mm. look at the chicken is actually still crossing its leg <laughs> look at how soft it is to pull out Ooh, succulent guys another way you can do this is before it goes to the oven you can put it on top of on your stove top for like 10 minutes to fry a little before you transfer to oven if not just go ahead make it the way i did use any spice you like guys i like people to use whatever spice that works for them okay so this is our chicken let me take this one out Ooh, yummy and the pot is so hot yummy in my tummy let me transfer this way look at that look at how oh man guys you need to try this this is amazing look at that amazing all right guys so this is it thank you so much for joining me Go ahead and make your own. Have fun with your family. Thank you for joining. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Like the video. Leave me a comment. I would appreciate it. Okay? Wherever you are, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.